Hey guys, and welcome back to Raymore Repair. We're working on the V-Strom once again. This is my DL1000 V-Strom. It's a 2018 model, and I really like it. We made a video about putting the bags on it and putting these bars on it. Well, today, we're adding more accessories to it, because, you know, genuine Suzuki accessories fit on it pretty well, and I like them. So, let's get on it. Now our project for today is we're going to install the Genuine Suzuki trunk on this. We got the aluminum panniers on it and now we got the bag for the back. Um, I finally broke down and bit it and bought it. So we need to get this off here. This is a mount to the Amazon's finest trunk that I've been running for the last several years. Problem is, with the Genuine Suzuki bags on here, I cannot run this bag too. Because these bags stick up high enough, this trunk will not fit on here. The Suzuki pannier stick up to about here, and that's too high, it interferes. So, we went ahead and got the Suzuki aluminum trunk, and we're gonna need to take this off to get there. So, let's start there. All right, I made a couple of J-bolts to go here to hold this down. Before, I just had zip ties on there, big, wide, nappy zip ties, really good ones. And they worked, but it had some give to it. When my wife was riding with me, she could feel it and didn't like it much. So I put these on there, we're going to take those off and get this plate off. And I don't remember, I think just a five millimeter Allen on those will do the trick. These, let's see how they come out. I gotta tell you, that went way easier than I thought it was going to. That's my J bolt. It really is a bolt that I turned into a J. there's nuts under there. Why wouldn't there be? And one more. Now this is my demo bike back in 2018 and I put this on there then. Uh, my wife and I was going to take a trip. I live in the Kansas City area and we're going to take a trip down into Arkansas and we did. Great trip. Went down and rode the pig trail and all that but we needed something to go on the back of this because it just had the plastic panniers on it at the time. So, got this, and it, it was big enough to hold two helmets. Or, if you know how it usually works, most of my wife's stuff, and the rest of her stuff went in the other saddlebag, and uh, thankfully, I can fit pretty much all I need for a weekend in one saddlebag. Because really, how much do you really need? As far as being a guy, that is. As a woman, I have no idea. All right, we got that off. Now our next step is to get the directions out and figure out exactly what we need to do. I think this goes away. Let's check and find out. This is what we're going to be installing like that. So I'm going to guess that this whole thing needs to come off. And we're going to mount this sweetheart on there. There's probably six different sets of directions. But we'll see what we got here. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of fancy stuff there. Mm-hmm. And about 27 different languages. Important to change all the parts. Check the parts. Well, I got this directly from Suzuki, so it should have all the parts in it. And then another 27 languages. Yep, more languages. Oh look, pictures. Well, yeah. Oh, this is what we need right here. There, yeah, we're getting somewhere. Yep, okay, we took the seat off. That's done, mostly because the battery is really low. And we need to take this stuff off, and apparently we throw it away or throw it in a pan, one of the two. Don't know which. And those come off. Yep, yep, yep. Well, we already got the panniers on here, so let's just see how this is going to fit together. I'm thinking the directions might be a secondary source of information, if you know what I mean. Let's take these out and these out and see what we get then. Who knows? Maybe it'll all just come right around and we'll know what the heck is actually happening. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Are they fives? My gosh, they are. Mm-hmm. Do down here. Yep, like that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out of there. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. And I think that'll free up our plastic rack. Yes, this thing is plastic. Let's just... Dig everything out here and then we'll unwrap and see exactly what we got. Okay. 
Once again, this is a genuine Suzuki stuff, so this all should go pretty smooth. That looks like the top plate. Oh, looky there. The top plate. Shameless plug right there, I think. Let's see what we got here. There's another wreck. And that's pretty much it. That's what we got to work with. Now let's see if the directions kind of make more sense. That comes off. Well, that is still on at the moment. And something under there that goes in the trash bin as well. And these bolts go in the trash bin. So we need this right here. Then we need this, such as, and this, like so. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's some adjustment to it too. And which bolts do we use? Those flat topped ones. Well, that would be these. Hmm. Well, no, it don't fit too bad. Yeah, like that, maybe. And do they get washers? Nope, just the nuts. All right, let me grab a 10 millimeter wrench and a four millimeter Allen, I believe. Tighten those up. There is some adjustment to it, so we'll have to figure that out. Okay. Let's see what we're gonna do here. I'll stick my wrench under here, like so. I think if we turn this around, it'll be a little bit better. Then we'll get on here. Indeed, it is a four millimeter Allen. Back that off a little bit so we can still move it. Probably just a touch tighter than that though, where it's not all loose and floppy. And it says we want a 10 millimeter gap at the end of that. So that's pretty much gonna be all the way out. I think this one's catching a bit. There. So if we use our 10 millimeter wrench to figure out, yep, all the way out is where we're gonna to wanna to be. Well, hold the wrench, hold this, and tighten this. We'll tighten those more, but I just want to get this one started. All right, we got those kind of snugged. Let's go ahead and tighten them down. I think it's 18 foot-pounds. Yeah, I have no idea what it is. 12 Newton meters. I'd say that's pretty close. And that's about a 10 millimeter gap. Ish. Let's just use a wrench here. Yep, that's pretty close. Interesting. Well, easy part's done. Now we just have a few more pieces to go here. All right, I spent some time on the other side and got this kind of figured out. This is the mount plate for the old plastic bags I had on here, the, the uh, plastic saddlebags. This is the mount for the aluminum panniers, this piece right here. So this piece has got to go. And unfortunately, I'm kind of a hoarder, so I saved the pieces that went on here. It's only been five years ago that I put those on. Well, I still had them. That's good news. Anyway, we're gonna take this piece off and then we're gonna expose the mounts and get busy on the rest of it. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and pull this piece off. It has five bolts that holds it on, and each one has a collar, like so. Well, we'll just have to get that one off after we take it off. All right, let me fetch my spacer before it gets too gone. And then we will take, and let's see here. This is the mount that goes here, like that. That's where this used to be. And it's gonna go back there, but we gotta put another piece on underneath it. That would be this, sweetheart. Let me back you up just a little bit so you can get a little wider view of what's happening here. This sits on here, there's a little nubbin sticking up, just like so. And you put this bolt in and it stays and these two go in and they come back out. However, this one needs to go underneath this. Kind of weird like, but it seemed to make everything work better. And it says to do that in the instructions. 
not sure I like that much, but you know, I didn't design it. I'm just installing it. Make sure that you Loctite your bolts that need Loctite. Tells you in the instructions which ones are which. And we're gonna dab a little Loctite on this one because this one's gonna stay in now. The other two are gonna go in and for alignment and then come back out. In fact, yeah, I'll go ahead and put them in, but I don't really see much of a reason to. But they will keep the alignment better if I do. Now they have collars that go on them. We're not putting those on there right now. This is just keeping everything aligned. Well, we tighten down, oddly enough, a 13 millimeter headed bolt. I can't think of the last time Suzuki used a 13 millimeter headed bolt, but by golly, here it is. Now we'll remove our other two bolts back out. And then we'll install some Loctite on those. Slide the collars on. There's a, a tall collar or a short one. Long and a short, I don't know, like that. And uh, one of these goes in one hole, one goes in the other. And I can't remember which one's which. Now, just to make sure I'm not leading you astray, this plate was in here. And that has to come out too, so you're down to the bare frame. That's gotta go. So that, that's out now. And then this piece sets in here. Put down my Loctite bolt for a second. Kinda like that. That's making much better sense. The other side, I couldn't get that figured out. I wanna take it back off and pull that little plastic spacer out. All right, that's tightened up. Once that's tightened up, this piece goes on. It's gonna fiddle a fart around in here and sit kind of like that, just like so. And to mount this, we need the original hardware that come with this piece and just so happens in my hoarding, I kept all that stuff. All right, this bolt, I'm gonna start in the middle of this cover. And then I'm gonna tweak everything into place as we install the rest of them. Get that a little tighter so it sets up on the shoulder maybe. There we go. I think that'll do. And once again, I think the tall spacer, or the long spacer goes in the bottom. Let's verify that. Grab our 10 millimeter wrench, go to the top hole. We'll whiz that down a little bit. Not snug it up yet, just leave it a little loose. And we already got Loctite on our bottom one too with a short spacer. Go ahead and snug those up. This little original cover back on there. Then we'll dig out a short collared bolt. And install it. All right. Did we tighten this one? Nope. Now it's tight. That's done on this side. I'm gonna go to the other side and fix my faux pas where I left this in there and get that out of there. And then we'll catch up. All right, you should end up with something that looks kind of like this, with these two nubs sticking up through here, and then you also have these holes lining up here and the bottom holes lining up down here. Now these, I presume, are gonna get the bracket, the same ones that come out, are gonna go back in here because they came with this pannier set, pannier mounting set. So I'll put one of those in there, and one of these in here. I could be totally wrong about that, but I think that's the way it's gonna go. Now, I do not want to tighten these up yet, but I want to draw them down so there's not much slack in them. Kind of like that. And then we'll figure out what all this other hardware is for. My goodness, there's a bunch of it. 
Okay, I think that goes there. Maybe that way. Yep, that way. Collar up. That one goes there. Does it go that way? Nope. It goes this way. And then that goes through there. Such as so. And like that. All right, this goes up here, but it needs these installed here. Not too big a deal. Mm hmm. Another one hits hole. And one more here. And then this is going to set it here like that. Boom. I think that goes there like that. And this goes on here like this. These spacers need those sides headed up. And sits so in here kind of like that. There we go. And that's the way I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then we need our mounting bolts. It goes through all that stuff like so. With any luck, some of these will start. Is that too much finagling? I think they have. Let's give them a rundown real quick. These are supposed to be torqued to 23 Newton meters. I think these are supposed to be, yep, supposed to be Loctited, rat turds. All right, I'm gonna get something faster to take these in and out. We're gonna pull them out, Loctite them, put them back in. Give him a little Loctite loving. Same with this one. We'll run those two back down, then we'll take the other two out to kind of keep everything straight. Get a ratchet on there, hand ratchet, then we'll check and see how tight those are. We don't want to leave them loose. That'd be bad. There we go. And our last one. That sweetheart is mounted. There you go. We gotta faggle with it, put an angle with it a little bit. There it is. There's that sweetheart mounted up. Now, we don't have the locks in here yet, and uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna put the top one in, but I am gonna put the bottom one in. And uh, we could do that real quick. All right, when I bought my saddlebags, I went ahead and bought the six lock set. So I'd have the locks for this thing too. Let's go ahead and pop this back loose. Then we'll set one of these in here, kind of like this. There's a clip that sits in the back of this. That slides up and this just slides in place like that. And that is according to Suzuki, super secure. So we'll hook that there, bring that up, hook that. And now it's pretty near impossible for somebody to steal this with that little magic clip in there. You know, cause uh, just grabbing a hold of this and tugging on it, 
pretty sure it would just pop right out. But hey, what do I know? Another thing I don't like about this bag is you cannot leave them unlocked when the key is in them, when the key's out of them. For instance, I would love for these to be able to put the key in, turn it, and then pull the key back out so you can just leave them unlocked if you chose to. But you really can't do that. And that's the reason I'm kind of curious if I want to put this one in or not. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. But I'm not sure that I'm going to like it. And they're easy enough to take back out. It sits in there. Clip goes in here. Like that. And you're done. That's all there is to it. And all these are keyed the same. And uh, the bags, they're over here. If you like, hey, uh, let's go ahead and put those on real quick and we'll see what it looks like all together. All right, and that's a whole bunch of it together. This is the trunk we just installed. These are the saddlebags. You can see I have a key in to make sure the saddlebag didn't come off, but I did not put keys in here.